This was our first offering as a silver mount. The biggest problem with this mount is that the pin did not keep a linear motion. It moved up and down which created certain problems. We also had problems with using switches so we designed a magnet and reed switch operation. Then we went to linear motion. Same thing with switches and magnets. Then we developed the servo version 6 with a linear motion and option for two switches. The smaller footprint was the Micro 8 or version 8 which came into being uh, being much smaller in footprint and still having the same options. This was the first time that we had the adjustable pin stroke here, easily adjustable and also um, having the switches moved by a pin at the bottom of the slider. And then we come to the ultimate which is the new Micro 10. Lots of modifications have happened here. The uh, motor is tapped through two holes into the, sh into the uh, main frame there so you can fit the motor from the back with just two screws and uh, you don't have to take the mount apart to change the motor. The uh, slide again is uh, has the adjustment screws here and also a extra hole here so you can move that screw to there and then your pin can come in, in a horizontal position if you need to move the point differently. At the bottom we've lost the pin and we now have a folded over piece of aluminium to operate the switches. We've lost about six millimeters in height from the uh, Micro 8 and all in all this is really the ultimate mount. Fixing holes are now slotted right to the outside of the metalwork so that uh, if you need to change something you can just uh, take one screw out, release the other one and you can then slide it away. So lots of options here for adjusting and changing and still having the same beautiful linear motion with all singing and dancing. We believe that this is the ultimate uh, point motor at the moment. But what's the space? Who knows where more development might take us.